In my last video, I said that I'm working on a video on the Panasonic Lumix S5 II and here it is. So this is the Lumix S5 II. I've been using it for more than a year now, mainly for street photography, travel photography, a lot of personal video projects and some paid jobs. This video isn't going to be a formal long-term review, but more of an appreciation video for this camera. About a year ago, I was stuck in a rut. Creative block had set in and between my day job and life's demands, I just didn't have much energy or time to shoot. Sometimes we creatives can develop unhealthy habits to cope with creative block. Some may even resort to alcohol or substance abuse and mine was gas. I convinced myself that the perfect gear was somewhere out there and it was the only thing standing between me and the work I wanted to create. On the rare occasions I did go out and shoot, I was never really happy with my work. This was probably due to my perfectionism and the unreasonable expectations that I had set for myself. I constantly thought that my gear was the problem. During that time, I was miserable. Whenever my wife encouraged me to go out and shoot, I would just tell her that nah, you wouldn't look good on my camera which must have sounded ridiculous to her since I had already spent quite a bit of money on gear at that time. I spent a lot of my time looking at camera store websites and watching countless gear reviews on YouTube. I kept looking at all these talented creators and the beautiful content that they make with intense envy and I thought to myself, if only I had the camera or lens that they use, I'll finally be able to make good content. In hindsight, that was such a silly thought. I was using a Nikon Z5 at the time, which is a pretty good camera in its own right, and some Nikon Z lenses, which are all amazing in terms of image quality. But despite its strengths, the Nikon Z5 had its limitation, especially in the video department. So when the Lumix S5 II came out, it seemed to address all my issues with the Nikon Z5. So I made the decision to switch. The first project I did with this camera was on a trip to Terengganu with my wife. Throughout the entire trip, I only had the 50mm f1.8 lens. I shot everything with it, and the moment I put the files up on my computer, I was instantly blown away by how good everything looked, both stills and video. such a good camera in my hands, if I'm still unhappy with my work, if I'm still not getting the results I want, it is 100% on me. Blaming the gear at this point sounds more like finding excuses. And with a camera this good, it's really really hard to find a good excuse for not being able to create something good. So I started to shoot more with this camera sometimes just around the city, but I've also brought this camera on a few more trips, some near, some far, and it has never really let me down. It 
because with this camera, I captured some of my favorite photos ever on our trip to Hanoi, Vietnam in December 2023. After one year with the Lumix S5 II, what's my takeaway? Honestly, this camera has been a joy to use and it is definitely the best camera I have owned so far. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that there's no such thing as a perfect camera. This camera is no exception, despite being a really, really good camera. But a camera is just a tool and as such, there are different tools for different jobs. I've realized that my previous obsession with finding and getting the perfect camera for all types of shooting was not only unrealistic, it was a pipe dream and it has created roadblocks on my creative journey. I kept finding excuses and blaming my tools when the problem has always been with myself. It has become increasingly easier to get caught up in the specs, the latest gear or to believe that a new piece of equipment will make you a better photographer or filmmaker because of YouTube and social media. But at the end of the day, it's about the craft, about how you see the world, how you frame your shots and the stories you want to tell. The Lumix S5 II has been a great companion on my creative journey for the past one year, especially during a time when I was struggling creatively. So I'm happy that I bought this camera and I think you would be too if you bought it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be taking this camera and exploring New Zealand for the next few months as my wife and I are here for a working holiday. Subscribe if you want to see more of New Zealand from us. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.